In this video, you will learn how to accept PayPal payments on your website and then with the help of instant payment notification, how to automatically send everything to the customer. So, let's do it. Hey, what's up guys? Sinead here from CoinPassingCom.com, the place where I help others to become a web developer much easier and faster than they will do it on their own. So, if that is something that interests you, consider subscribing. So, before we actually start reading any code, I want to explain you the basics that you need to understand for this tutorial so that you have a visual representation of what is going to happen. So, we are going to create a one simple website let's say like this and then here we will like to sell something let's say a WordPress plugin or something and then we will have some features of our plugin here and we will add here a PayPal button so now once the person press this button we will redirect him to the PayPal website and here he will be able to purchase our product so now, if he decide to press a cancel button, we will redirect him back to this page. But if he successfully purchase this product, we will redirect him to some thank you page, like this, and we will say here, thank you, okay? But now, what will happen in the background, the PayPal, let's say here it's PayPal, the PayPal will send an instant payment notification to our server. So let's say we will have here one file, let's say callback file. And then once the PayPal send an instant payment notification, we will inside this file accept all those information. We will verify if he really purchased this product because in most cases there will be a people that will try to scam you. And then if everything is okay, we will send to this person an email that contains all the details and about their purchase and also the WordPress plugin that they bought. So I hope so that this is very simple process and I will show you that the code is much simpler than this explanation. So let me now show you how to write the code. So now I'm here at my PHP store. I have created a new project in that project I have one folder attachment and there is some zip archive that I will send to the customers and then I have an m2 index.php and listener.php or we can name it callback.php whatever you like. So now first let's quickly design some basic pricing page. So let me try to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Then I will say here pricing page. And now I'm going to include the bootstrap. So I will say get bootstrap.com and I will go to download. Okay. And down below I will just get a CDN link for the CSS and I will include it just before closing head tag. So in here I will have one class container. And in that container, of course, we are going to have one row. And then inside this row, I will have just one column. So let's say column MD6. And I will set offset to the tree. So that from the both side, we have same padding. And on that way, we have everything in the center. Okay, cool. So now inside this column, I'm going just to create something that is the latest in the booster 4 and it is card so we will say div class card and then we will have card header and here we will have card block which is basically the body of our card. So maybe in this block I will say we will have card title and then I will just say it is WordPress plugin and then I will just specify some like futures so let's say this is a list group and then I will have different list group items 
So maybe let's say future one. Let's say we'll have multiple of those. Okay. And maybe up here, I will say we'll have one H3. And this will be, let's say, just the price. So let's say $67. Okay, so I have just saved this and let's see what we have got. So I'll just upload everything because for us in order to test the PayPal gateway IPN, we will need to have it on the live server and we are not able to test it on the local host. Anyway, so it is and then okay and here is the basic design that we have so maybe we can write some css here at the head so i would just say style text css let's say our container will be margin top let's say 100 pixels and let's say here we'll have or maybe in the row i will say align to the center or maybe it will be better if we say justify content to the center and then let's say for the least group item i will say that we will have padding of 5 pixels and maybe let's remove, I think we have the border. Yep, so let's remove this border, so I'll say border 0 pixels. And let's see what will happen. Okay. Okay. So maybe we can for card here say text center and then maybe I will just say it like span like I will define some class currency and h3 will be class price so now let's write let's say that price font size I will set to 72 pixels I want something big okay and then for the currency I want font size a uh, very small let's say 25 pixels I mean small in comparison with the price then I will set the position to the relative and maybe let's set top like minus 30 pixels. We will, we will test this. Okay. Okay, cool. So this is looking good. Maybe we should just put here everything in here to the center and then maybe on I will set card to the let's say 350 pixels and then card hover let's say transition okay transform I will set scale to the 1.05 and then maybe let's set transition to the let's say all this will be the time and then is in out will be how we are going to do it and I will just delete this okay so let's say see what we have now okay so now it is looking good and if we do okay this creates a really nice effect here and that's it so now the next thing that we need to do for this pricing page is we really need to add buy now button from the paypal 
And now in order to do that, we will need to log into our PayPal account. And then once you are logged in, you just need to go to the tools and then to the all tools. And you should get a similar design like I have. I think that it, it will depend on the type of the account that you have on the PayPal, but something similar will be there. And then you will just need to find the PayPal buttons, click there. And then I will go to the create new button. And now here we have a different types of the button. For this one I will choose buy now. Okay. Here for the item name I will say WordPress plugin. And then for the item ID I will say again WordPress plugin. So I will just use this to identify that it is this one product because maybe on this pricing page you will have a lot of different products that you want to sell. So the price for this one will be 67. I don't need anything else. Then here I will remove this option. And then here in the advanced section I don't want to let customer to change order quantities. <coughs> Sorry. I don't want any special instruction. Shipping address we don't need. And then here are the things that I have been talking about. So for the cancel, if I use a press cancel, I want to redirect them again to the sales page, to the pricing page. Okay. And now when they finish checkout, we will redirect them to the some thank you page. We don't have it at the moment. And then here is an important thing. As you can see, if we want that PayPal send an instant payment notification to our website, we will need to add advanced variables. And then we need to say notify URL, okay, e equal, and then to specify the link to the file where it will send all the details. So I will just say listener. I think that is the name of the file that we used. Just a second. Yes, it is. So listener.php. Okay, and that's it. We will just go to the create button. So now here you will get the code that is ready to be just pasted in your website and here is the design as you can see this one is encrypted and you can use that one or if you click remove code protection you will get something that is much readable and you will if any time you want you will be able to quickly modify this code but probably i will always suggest to you to just use protected version because that way it is much harder to try to scam you also, there is an option to use an email and all you need to do is just to get this link here and then just create a normal link in your HTML document. But I will just use this protected version. I will just copy and then I'm going to paste it here under this list. So let's say I will put new two new break clients and I have just pasted everything in. I will save it and let's see what will happen on our sales page. So if we refresh, the buy, not the buy now button is there and if we click, we will be redirected to purchase this, okay. And if I now decide to cancel. I will be redirected to the pricing page again. So now this is all that we need to set up in the part what the customer or the visitor to your website will see. But now the problem is to set up instant payment notification and what will happen once the customer purchase your product. So in order to do that, we will need to go to the developer.paypal.com and you have to notice that there isn't S after the developer. So it's not developers, it's developer. 
and then I will go to log into dashboard and here again you can just use your normal login details from the PayPal okay we are logged in and now what is important for us here to use all I want is IPN simulator basically with this IPN simulator we are able just to send to simulate the purchase and on that way code make a code on our backend and verify that everything will work just as we want so first thing is IPN handler URL so that one I will copy here and then I will just save here listener the problem is that you are not able just to test it if you don't have this file so just make sure that you have one upload it and that's it and the problem is that most of the time if you only have the file this IPN handler URL will always work so you just keep that in mind so transaction type let's say that we will have web asset okay and then here are the payment information that you can set up so that you can make a test so let's say first time it will be instant payment date okay payment status let's say completed address fire status first name last name fire email fire id address name address country country code those are all the things basically for the customer and really i never change any of those because it's not that important now here for the business and receiver email and id i usually write here something like let's say coding passive income and then here i want to use an email that will actually receive all the payments so i want to test that okay and then for the item name you just need to make sure that this is the one that you have been using on the PayPal when we create the buy now button and then item number sorry guys this should go here and then item name is WordPress plugin okay and quantity shipping tax we really don't need any of those we can just delete it if you want to and then currency fee that's not that much important gross let's say this is our price that we want to have we can delete this one some transaction id notify version etc etc we really don't need any of those things okay cool and now if we hit send ipn the weird thing is that you will always need to scroll up and here's what it say ipn was sent and the handshake was verified which is okay but the problem is that we don't have set up any listener so far so let's create one so i will just open php thanks okay i will just zoom in a little bit okay and now the first thing that i want to check if a server request method equal equal post or maybe different than post i want just to redirect person to the index php so all i'm doing here is basically if someone has found that we have listener.php file we just want to verify that there is some post executing on this page and if it there isn't then we want just to redirect that person to the our pricing page okay so now here probably we will receive the details from the paypal and let me just here's ipn simulator and if we open here you can read a lot more about this ipn simulator and all the things that you will need to know okay so basically we need to verify all the information that we have received 
in this page directly on the PayPal and if there isn't a verification from the PayPal that means that probably someone is trying to scam us so for that reason I'm just going to write here I will use curl so I will say curl handler equal curl init okay and now um, here I will say sorry curl set opt curl handler say curl opt and then URL and the URL on which we are going to execute this call is here so I will just copy okay and paste here okay now the next thing that we need to set up is of return transfer I will set to the one then let me just duplicate this then the next thing is SL verify host I will set to the zero then we have verify peer I will just set to the zero again then I will say I can just quickly duplicate so I'll say here call opt let's say post I will set it to the one and now post files okay and here I'm going to say command equal notify and validate so this is something that is required by the PayPal so we need to include this command that we want to notify and validate these information that we have received here and then I will append here everything from the post okay and after that I think that we have set everything and I am going just to execute this call handler and of course I'm going to close it okay so basically what I have done here I have set up some URL for the call I have decided that I want to return transfer from the PayPal of course we need it I don't need to verify anything related to the SSL and then I have decided that we are going to make a post request and then here are the informations that we are making through this post okay and of course here we need to execute so let's say just I want to put everything to the let's say test TST and then response I want to see what will be returned by PayPal once we try to verify okay and I will just upload listener okay and now let's try again this simulator I will say send IPN okay it's done and let's try here now test txt and here is what is returned by PayPal so I'm not sure what is this it says that there is no transactions okay that's weird so let's check our code um, code is looking good but it looks that I have forgot here to include upper sum okay so let's say and try again so I'll hit send IPN again okay fresh okay and now it says that the data has been verified 
and basically this is always what you are looking for when you are verifying is actually the payment happened on the PayPal side so if this response is equal verified that means that the purchase is really there and everything is looking good so for that reason I will just say here if response equal equal verified okay and usually what I love to check here is basically who is the receiver of this transaction because someone can try to purchase to his own email so here at the top we have receiver email and basically that is what we are looking for so I'll say if response equal verified and post receiver email equal the email that you have specified here okay like this and on this way we are actually sure that there isn't any problem with this email so we are actually the one who received the payment and now we can say here else we can maybe write some error to the error log or maybe we can send an email to ourselves and basically to save the, everything from this post just to know what is happening behind but I'm not going to do this in, in, inside this tutorial because we just want to make sure that the payment has happened it's verified we are the ones that received an email and also now we are going to check the price of our product so the price we will get so maybe let me show you first what what are all the information that we have got inside in this IPN so I will just say like for each or maybe let's say handle equal open and then I will use just again the same file I will use mode right and then here I will say for each post as key value I will write it to the this handle and let's say it will be key value and then a new line and here I will just close it this handle okay like this so let me now just quickly upload and show you what are the information that we are going to get. Okay, I'll go down here. I will hit send IPN. Okay, and let's now take a look. So here we go. So basically we have keys, payment type, payment date, payment status, address status, buyer status, first name, last name, buyer email address name and all other informations the business receiver email this is one important item number and item name quantity we have MC gross which is basically how much money someone paid and of course there are some informations like currency fee etc etc but now for us basically to verify this and be able to send to this customer an email I will just get a first name, last name, buyer email and of course we will need to get price and item maybe number. So let's do it. So I will see. Customer name is basically the first name and then separate by so I will say last name. Okay. Now price we said is in the MC gross I guess we can always make sure that yeah it's MC gross okay we want also to check the currency it is not the same if someone is paying in something else MC currency 
Okay, and then we have item. So let's say post item number. Okay, we will also need customer email. So let's say customer email is, I don't know, mm, it's buyer email. Okay, cool. So that he can send on email the plugin that he bought. And I guess this is all that we need to have so far. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is. And maybe we can check the payment status. So payment status. Okay, it's post. Cool. So now we want to make sure, let's say I will just do like this. And so those are the things related to the purchase and those two are to the customer. So here I want to say if item equal WordPress plugin and currency equal USD and I think it is USD let's quickly check yeah capital letters okay and if payment status equal confirmed and of course the last thing is price and price equal equal 67 we will execute this part of the code here which means that basically we are just going to send an email to this customer so what else we can do is to use those information and if you are selling membership access or anything else to create a new account in the database and then send a login details to that person but for the purpose of this tutorial that is not that much important so let me just now quickly say file put contents, okay, and let's say all verify. So this is just to make sure that we did everything correctly, because we do not have any, any other way on how to test this. Okay, I'll try to send IPN again. Okay, cool, fresh, and we didn't get anything, so there has to be some mistake, so maybe let's say else, mm. file, put contents, to the and then here I'll say data and I want just to make sure that data equal then I will just say price okay and then currency and then item I want to make sure that we can identify what is the problem so let's see Okay, I will send IPN again. Okay, so, so I think the problem is with the status. I said here confirmed and basically it is completed. Okay. So let's try to test again. So that is why this IPN simulator is so important because there are hundreds of places where you can make small mistake and your IPN won't work. So now it says all verified. Okay, amazing. I can now just delete this. 
okay and now inside here if everything is verified I would love just to send to our customer an email that will contain attachment that he booked which is basically WordPress plugin and for that purpose I'm going just to use PHP mailer of course so I'll go to the Google and say PHP mailer download okay go here then I'll go to the clone or download and I'll just go to download okay I'm going to save it to our folder PayPal gateway okay cool and let me just find it okay it's here so I will extract everything here I will delete this archive maybe I should rename this okay and then I will just delete everything except source then I will go to the source get everything move here and then delete this I mean this is just the way that I love to organize the files okay cool so now first thing that we need to do is basically here at the top we'll need to use PHP mailer namespace so I'll say use PHP mailer then okay so this is usually the namespace of the PHP mailer and you can find that in the documentation on github okay and then I'm just going to include so yeah I would just say PHP mailer and then I will use PHP mailer class and I'm going to get exceptions okay I don't I think that we don't need any of the others for the purpose of this video tutorial so here I'm just going to create a new object so I'll say new PHP mailer okay and here for this object we need to set so I'll say mail and then I will say set from so this is who is sending an email so I'll just say sales at compassincom.com okay and then the name I will say CPI sales okay then I want to set okay we can add attachment which is the path is attachment so let me just quickly attachment and then the name is okay wordpress plugin so I'll say here wordpress plugin that's it okay cool then you can specify the name for it I will just say wordpress plugin okay now mail is add address which is where we are sending an email so that person is there is customer email and then the name is we have it okay cool so now I will say mail is HTML I will say true so I am going a little bit faster over those settings for the PHP mailer and for those of you that really don't understand this part you can find a lot of different tutorials on my channel related to creating contact form and sending an email using PHP mailer. And then I will set subject, so I'll say thank you or maybe your purchase details, okay, and then body. Okay, is so I'll say maybe hi to new lines. Thank you for purchase in the 
attachment you will find my amazing WordPress plugin and then to analyze kind regards maybe whatever I mean this is not that much important and then here I would just say mail send and that's it so let's verify it once again we, we have said who is sending we have said an attachment who is send where we are sending we said that it is HTML subject body and pretty much that's it so now let's quickly just upload everything okay refresh and let's make a test but first I want here to change who is the pirate so I'll set pirate email to one of mine so I'll say hello at passive income.com and then I will just say send IPN so let's now see am I get any email maybe if we have made some mistake so yep here is the latest one it says your purchase details CPI sales and if I click here it says hi thank you for purchase blah blah and in the attachment there is WordPress plugin and yeah that's it now it is everything working just as it should so guys I hope that you have enjoyed this video if you do please like it and share it with your friends and of course if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below take care